Patrick Diago trying to pounce on it into McGee. McGee fires. Upper 90. Abracadabra, the magic man does it again. Make it 2-1. Mike, you tweaked your groin Sunday in Seattle. A game at Toronto on Wednesday. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling all right. You know, obviously, uh, I don't think at any point in the season anyone's truly 100%. So, um, you know, three three games in a week doesn't doesn't help the grind. But you know, uh, you know, no excuses at this point in the season. Sitting on 15 goals currently, previous high was seven. How do you explain more than doubling your best output this season? You still have seven games left. Yeah, I mean, the last time I scored seven goals was the last time I played forward. So, I mean, that's the that's the glaring uh, you know reason why. But um, you know, I think I've been the beneficiary of a, of a lot of other guys creating chances for me. You know, I've had a lot of tap-ins this year and, um, you know, a lot of great service, which, which I have to be thankful for. Goal scorers, of course, draw attention. Have, have you ever been marked this much, and, and how do you counteract that coverage? No, I definitely have never been marked this much, you know, especially being in L.A. where they're worried about a handful of other guys. So, um, you know, I tend to notice that, you know, they, they key on me sometimes, but um, it's, all, it's all part of it. Gonzalo Segueras over for Jolden Pear. Into the penalty area again! Two straight! <laughs> Your post-game analysis is always so stellar, and it was last match. Saying playoff teams get shutouts and they put teams away. We're not doing it on either end. How do you get it done on both ends? Uh, we just got to keep plugging away. We, 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 we turn the corner, um, you know, to kind of put ourselves in this position. But I think the point I was trying to make was just um, you know, in, in the playoffs, you need to get shutouts. In the playoffs, once you score one goal, you have to get that second goal because you can't you can't withstand you know 60 minutes of pressure from other teams without conceding a goal. So, you know, as forwards, we got to do a better job of taking that pressure off our defense. And the games we don't, we need our defense to step up and, and get shutouts for us. You're such a visible leader during the game matches. You know, moving away at, from home, Chicago, at 15 years of age. How much do you think that shaped the leader that we see today on the field? It played a really big role. You know, obviously it was tough at times, but um, you know, having to overcome a, a lot of things at such a young age on your own definitely uh, uh, helps. You know, and getting to learn things. Uh, you know, I did a lot of things the wrong way, which which sometimes makes it makes you stronger in the end as well. So.